everybody and welcome to another video. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to do a little toy review of this nice yellow submarine. Let's get straight to the remote first. This is the remote. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like the sonar bit on it. But another thing, uh, the, the submarine can actually go into water, but the remote can't. It could withstand like a little sprinkle or something, but nothing else. As well, the buttons crack sometimes, like there's little holes in them, so you should keep this. If you're getting this one day, you should keep it out of the water. So, in order to start the submarine, you have to press the on button. When it starts to turn red, then you can press up, down, left, right, and down. Okay. Now we got the submarine itself. Let me just turn this off. This is the submarine. It's a very nice submarine. But when you unscrew this bit right here, it gives you like a little white place to put in weights to make the submarine heavier so it could sink down faster. As well, how to get the batteries in. Uh, it's simple, simple as cake to get that one in because all you do is you just unscrew the thing. Now what you do is you pull it this way, then take it out. Mm, just a sad a couple of drip drops got there. I'm just clean them off. Okay, uh, drip drops. Then you unscrew this thing. Just give me a sec. There we go. Got, and it's drip dropping all over the place. Like that. And you can probably see the battery case in it. Maybe not really, but you just take this out. And voila, there's all the batteries. Can you just put the, then you just put it back in. Simple as cake. Screw this on. Get us as tight as you can. Put this little thingy on. And then voila, you got your batteries in. But if you want to know how you turn it on, you know, you just press the button. No, it'll turn off. Talking about, but it's just not going, you see. You need the remote. By just pressing the button once on the remote, the white button, it starts the submarine. I don't know what's with this one. Maybe there's a bit of hair or something in it. I have no idea. But this is up. When you press the up button, they'll go down like this. But when you press the down button, they'll all face like that. Left and right. This bit goes much more faster than that. And that one's actually meant to turn on. But they do but once you get it, it actually still works. By just turning off the button, the white button, it'll stop the submarine. As well, it got a little nice light there and a light there. Very nice. So, I know what everyone wants to see is this thing working in the water. I'll get to that in a sec. It's really nice submarine. Okay, let's get. Let's get straight to that. Okay, got them all right here. Let me just put the submarine into the water. And press on the button. There it goes. Okay. See, very nice working submarine. It is, I do like it. <sighs> Yeah, it's a nice submarine. Let's actually go down. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. And I think something's wrong with one of the propellers because it's not spinning whatsoever. 
Maybe if I just hold down once in a while. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going down. Don't worry. It's a very nice submarine. Now let's press up. Even though one propeller is not working, it is still fine. It works beautiful. Now let's get some underwater views and close-up views in the water. I'm going to thank everyone who was watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all later. Bye! Am I late for the video?